The first Church of God has been in the city since the early 1900s. In 1985, the Center of Hope was erected in Inglewood. Bishop Gregory L. Dixon has been senior pastor since 1996. He's recently been working to enhance the conditions of the church for his congregation. We've improved the facility in terms of upgrading air conditioners, and we're doing some major uh, work in terms of changing rooms and adjusting their purpose so that uh, our church becomes more uh, community-friendly. Um, if you had come a few months ago, the, the building was a different color. If you had come a few months ago, um, you wouldn't s see quite as much green as you see now. So we've done a lot of work, and we're still in the process of changing and upgrading. Uh, we're involved in a two-year program to really try to give a good facelift, try to position us to go into the future. And uh, so that's what we're involved in. Pastor Dixon is enthusiastic about how the implementations have already helped reduce energy bills. We've been involved in this about six months. Initially, we've, we've seen a 25 to 30 percent drop in our cost. And that's understanding that rates do increase, but we would have been in worse shape if they had not come through and begin to evaluate what we're doing. So uh, our business office tells us that uh, the savings were immediate in terms of that first month or two. We saw a 25 to 30 percent drop, which is a good thing for a congregation of our size. Have a church that very seldom are we really shut down. We go from 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning to 10 or 11 at night every day and it's a full operation. So you can imagine the cost of operating the various rooms and the facility. And, uh, so that was an extreme benefit for us to be able to, to, to experience that kind of savings. But the suggestions weren't only about buying new equipment. When they came in to do the assessment, they gave us some things that we could do. They're just practical suggestions about how we could shut off certain portions of the building and just some things that would help us in the overall process. Everything is not about efficient light bulbs. Some things are about patterns of behavior. Uh, some things are about things that you do sometimes without thinking uh, that they brought to our attention that we needed to be aware of. So we've, we've tried to put those things into effect and we see good results from it. David A. Ford, account executive for Edison's African-American business and faith-based customers, assisted Bishop Dixon by recommending several options. We have uh, quite a lot of different programs and services, and we're continuously looking at ways in which we can enhance our total customer experience. Two programs that come to mind that are, I think are really important in helping businesses reduce their energy costs. One is our business incentive and services program, and that provides rebates for our customers in lighting, window film, air conditioning, refrigeration equipment that they would upgrade or replace to more energy efficient equipment. The other program is our demand response programs. That allows customers to uh, shed load, to reduce their operations at certain peak times, such as the summer discount program. Basically what that program does is allow us to turn off your compressor part of your air conditioning unit when we call for interruptions and generally these interruptions occur during the summertime if we need to have an interruption and it would be for a certain period of time in the afternoon. But it allows us to continue to provide service and reliable power to our customers. Mr. Ford gives us some insight into Edison's in-depth look at this church through their on-site audit. We're here in a church. A church uses a tremendous amount of lighting during the weekly services and Sunday morning, as well as air conditioning to keep the atmosphere in the church and heating to keep the atmosphere in the church uh, comfortable to their membership when they have services. So we can look and assess different areas of energy conservation based on uh, the uh, visual or, or actual information that we have identified in the church during our audits that we pass on those recommendations to the church uh, that will enable them to become in more energy efficient. And what will Edison's relationship with the First Church of God be like in the future? 
I think that we'll be able to expand on some programs and services that we can offer to this church. I've identified some additional opportunities here that I think that they can save on, such as window film, uh, possibly changing out some other lighting systems in their gymnasium and other areas of the church that I think will have seen further development of cost reduction in their program, uh, in their operational costs here at this facility.